Hey everybody, I am back with another Verizon versus Visible video. The reason I'm making this one is if you saw my previous video, you'll notice that Visible never had the ultra wideband icon in the status bar. And you'll notice the new plan that I activated now does have the 5G UW icon. So that's an improvement. It also looks like the Visible Plus plan may have been having some performance issues. It never got above around 500 megabits per second. Meanwhile, the Verizon 5G Play More plan got over 800 megabits per second. In fact, I had a user comment on my Visible Plus video saying my Visible Plus plan is broken and that from their experience, after the chat rep reset their voicemail, their speeds went from uncapped to suddenly capped at around 400 to 440 megabits per second. And that seems suspiciously similar to what I was seeing on my previous video. And this may have been caused from Visible breaking some of the carrier profiles or provisioning during the setup of this plan or possibly during the transition from the Visible Cloud Core to the Verizon native network core. So I activated a new Visible Plus plan. It looks like we're getting the icon. And if we actually jump in and do a speed test, you can see this Visible Plus plan is getting fantastic speeds. Check it out. It's connected to 5G ultra wideband. It picks up and boom, we're soaring above 600 megabits per second, above 700, above 800 megabits per second, climbing towards 900. Oh my God, that is insane. Over 900 megabits per second on Visible Plus on 5G ultra wideband. So you can see this plan definitely seems to be working much better. It's getting faster speeds and better performance. In fact, it's getting closer performance to a proper Verizon postpaid plan. On the left, we have our tried and true Verizon 5G Play More plan, which thankfully still does have some premium data left. And you can see it connects to 5G ultra wideband. It has the 5G UW icon and speeds are soaring in this particular location, getting over 800 megabits per second inching its way towards 900. I don't think it's going to make it on this particular test, but there you go. 867 megabits per second down on Verizon 5G Play More versus 905 megabits per second on Visible Plus. So you can see both plans are performing great. Visible Plus notably has improvements in the performance with this new line I activated. So now I just want to test, see what happens when we run these tests at the same time. Again, almost identical speeds side by side here. Yeah, you're getting, I, I literally cannot believe for $45 a month, you are literally getting the same performance as an $80 or $90 plan from Verizon Postpaid. This is a truly phenomenal option for single line users. I activated this Visible Plus line on a physical SIM card, and that appears to have fixed a lot of the issues. So if you are considering Visible, maybe you consider getting a physical SIM card. But the bigger question and the main reason why I'm out here is because I want to know, is Visible Plus deprioritized on 5G ultra wideband when you use up the 50 gigabytes of premium data? The last time I did this test, the plan was already having errors and capping out at basically 400 megabits per second on 5G ultra wideband. And I feel like that may have impacted my interpretation of the results. So I want to give Visible a second chance here. I'm going to use up all 50 gigabytes of premium data on my Visible Plus line. And once that's done, I'm going to run another side by side test. I have now used over 50 gigabytes of data on my Visible Plus plan. Let's go ahead and see how it compares to Verizon 5G Play More and if it does get deprioritized on 5G Ultra Wideband. Starting this test off, it looks like Visible Plus connected first, getting fantastic speeds on Ultra Wideband. Verizon 5G Play More connected second. Looks like Play More is getting slightly slower speeds right now during this side by side test. Visible Plus finished opening up the network capacity for 5G Play More to finish getting 643 megabits per second down. Upload speeds, I honestly don't think these are deprioritized at all. I think it's just everyone gets the same upload, whatever the best upload can be is. So we'll let that finish. And there are the results. Again, let's do another side-by-side -side test here just to see if we can get anything conclusive. From the first test, it didn't look like it. Second test, Verizon connected first. Visible had a high ping. Very curious. It seems like they almost flipped there. Visible is now connected. It's climbing. Verizon is dropping. Looks like we're getting a 650, 350 split. And then Verizon finished, allowing Visible to climb back up. Both plans appear to be getting great speeds and performance. 
again, it, it, it almost seems like whatever plan connects first, I'm just going to kill this, seems to get the better performance. Let's see if we can do more of an identical test. That was great. Both launched off at about the same time, and it looks like both are getting about the same exact speeds. Look at that. They were neck and neck. Uh, so there you go. I think I was mistaken in my first video. I think my visible plus line was having issues that I was unaware of during the time of recording that led me to believe it was deprioritized when in fact, uh, yeah, the plan was just having issues. It looks like visible plus is actually not deprioritized when you're connected to 5G ultra wideband whether on millimeter wave or C band. Both of the speeds and performance on both plans are incredibly similar. There's no clear drop in performance. I mean, look at that. They're neck and neck. Identical speeds right now. Like, unbelievably close. Clearly the same priority level, uh, delivering the same experience. Both still have premium data on 5G ultra wideband, which makes me wonder, is anything even deprioritized on 5G ultra wideband? I mean, in order to connect to 5G ultra wideband, you basically need a plan with premium data anyway. All of the plans with premium data are the only ones that can connect. Xfinity Mobile, US Mobile, Visible Plus, the plan has premium data and 5G ultra wideband access. I would hazard a guess that Verizon is not deprioritizing anything at all on its 5G ultra wideband network. It's almost like the QCI values and priority levels just don't matter on 5G ultra wideband. But there you go. I was clearly mistaken on my first video, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, you can forgive me and understand how I was drawing that conclusion based on the results I was seeing at the time. But doing this new test with a new and properly working visible plus line, you can clearly see you do in fact get unlimited premium data on the Verizon network. And just to confirm the priority levels of the plans, I'm running a test on LTE right now. We should see Verizon get way faster speeds here and Visible get much slower speeds as it is deprioritized on the network. Uh-oh, they're both getting... Wait, does the 5G ultra-wideband usage not count against your premium data? I mean, look at that. That was clear as day. Both were getting the same speeds and performance on LTE, which leads me to believe they have the same priority. All right, guys, we are back in the studio and you are not gonna believe this. I didn't believe this. I popped my Visible Plus SIM in my Pixel 3a, launched Network Signal Guru. And you see that? Boom, QCI8. Yes, Visible Plus still has or had premium data after using over 50 gigs of data on 5G ultra wideband which leads me to believe that 5G ultra wideband usage does not, in fact, count against your premium allotment. So to further find out what I've done here, as I have Visible Plus back in the phone on the right, and I have Verizon 5G Start, a deprioritized plan in the phone on the left, and we're gonna run a speed test. And again, just wanna confirm, settings, cellular, and you can see current period, uh, there it is, 70, three gigabytes, well over the 50 gig allotment, but 50 of those gigs were on 5G ultra wideband. And as you can see, as we run these tests side by side, it is visible that is actually getting the faster speeds. So in my mind, this confirms 5G ultra wideband usage does not, in fact, count against your 50 gigabyte premium allotment. And that yes, you do in fact get truly unlimited premium data on visible when you are connected to 5G ultra wideband. So again, I apologize for being mistaken in the previous video, but there you go. You can clearly see it night, day, clear as clear as day, um, visible getting uh, much faster speeds than Verizon 5G start on the left here, indicating it has priority data on this connection. Uh, and this is typically what you would see in performance. So I think what we were seeing in the car, it, due to some variables or whatever, it looked like Visible may or may not have had uh, priority, but uh, back home in the studio, it's pretty clear to me. I mean, just look at that. It's clear to me Visible getting 12.8 down uh, compared to 2.47 down on 5G start. Visible has priority data. So there you go, and the QCI value confirmed it. Uh, Visible Plus honestly looking like a better and better plan. Maybe one of the best plans out there for $45 per month, just as soon as Visible can fix their activation issues 
Though I have heard if you activate on a physical SIM, uh, typically the process is a little bit smoother. So something to consider if you are considering visible. But there you go. It looks like my previous visible plan had problems. And now that everything is fixed, uh, it is working awesome. That's going to be it for this video. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful and share this video with a friend who may be interested in visible so they know what to expect from their premium data allotment. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one.